CZ1, I've done loads of videos on it and it's a great synth, there's no doubt about it. But one of the things that's a real problem and I should have fixed ages ago is this display. They're just not very bright. And in fact, I think the backlight is completely gone on this thing now. And it does mean that all the videos that I've done on this synth, well, it's very difficult to see what's on the display. I'm going to change this. I'm hoping I can do it without breaking the thing. So hopefully it'll be a nice bright display by the end of this video. Either that or you'll see a grown man crying, one or the other. So I'm just going to take these end screws off. This should take the front panel off and that's where I need to get. I've done the front panel screws and now I'm doing these back panel screws. And I think that will free it up. Okay, success, I'm in. So now I've got to find out how to get the display out. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. It looks like it's just four screws and a few connectors. And then the scary bit of getting the soldering iron out. Now before I do anything else, I need to ask myself the question, does the new display look like a feasible replacement for the old one? And I would say that it pretty much does. So the connector is in the same place. It doesn't have the same chips on the back, but it's different technology. So I wouldn't expect it to be identical. All the screw holes seem to be in the right place. So I think we're good to go. So I've got the display out and what I'm going to do is transfer the wires across one at a time so I don't get them mixed up. Now there's also an additional two power connections as well, which this one doesn't have, which is a little bit concerning. Um, maybe it just doesn't need them. So it seems that on the CZ101 there is no backlight connection. And therefore you just move the 14 connections across and that lights up the way it does on the CZ101 which means on the CZ1 I don't need these two because there is no backlight. So that should work and uh, I'm happy to go ahead on that basis. Let's see what happens. Okay, I've got it transferred across, so hopefully that's all right. I did each cable one at a time so that I couldn't get confused as to which was which. And now I just need to plug it back in and see if it works. Okay, the moment of truth. Looks okay, off. Or does it work? It does actually work. Well, that's great, isn't it? Now, the only problem is I'm going to have to redo all my CZ videos now because now I can actually see the display. That's really going to help people. No, I'm not going to do that. I couldn't possibly do that. Okay, that's looking great. Mm -hmm. 